And now we are on the inbound, so we can uh, set the timer. And again, check for 12.5 DME. And we can determine the drift. We have 10 knots from the side. So uh, we have approximately six or seven knots for correction. And we can also check that if you uh, keep up against the wind and you fly on a straight track, you, the, the difference, difference in uh, degrees will be your uh, wind uh, correction angle. And when we reach the fix now, the entry will be uh, finished and we will start uh, the holding procedure, which will look a little bit different. 12.5, turning left. We will hit, have the wind from the right, so that means we have to correct uh, to the right. And we have to apply now double drift, uh, dr double uh, wind correction angle. So let's use uh, 12. Okay, 12, approximately there. And start the timer. And we don't have any uh, headwind or tailwind, so uh, we should wait for one minute now. And this outbound leg is defined by time, so when we reach after one minute, we should start to turn towards inbound, but if we have a distance, after one minute we should uh, fly with single wind correction angle towards uh, the distance that is specified on the chart. And when we turn in to the inbound, uh, hopefully we will uh, have corrected enough so that we can intercept the inbound very easy. Okay, one minute. So you have to play a little bit with the bank angle to get uh, on the center line of the radial. Make small corrections. Okay, we are on the inbound. Let's do the timing. So this is how you fly a holding. And uh, let's do an exit as well. It's very easy, nothing special. We just fly to the fix. And this is uh, an initial approach fix. So if we want to uh, do an approach after the holding, we have to overfly the fix, and then we can start the approach. The inbound leg and the outbound leg should be uh, approximately the same time if you do it correct. But if you have 
headwind or tailwind on the outbound leg, of course, it will be, it will differ. There we go. We're over the fix, initial approach fix. Now we can exit the holding and proceed uh, for uh, an ILS approach or NDB or whatever. So now to the second phase. You have done the entry and now you want to fly the holding. So if we don't have an FMS which can calculate a perfect racetrack for us, we have to fly it slightly different. So we have flown the entry procedure and now we have to establish the holding. So uh, in reality we have wind and we need something called wind correction angle to uh, correct for the drift. If we don't correct, let's say we have entered the turn here and we will not correct for drift we will start to go like this and then after one minute we will turn and we will be south of the inbound leg. So it will be a total mess. That's why we need to compensate for the wind and uh, it's called wind correction angle. So in this case we have the wind coming from the north. We are on our way towards the fix. When we reach the fix we will turn in this case to the left and we will apply double the wind correction angle so that we increase the distance from the inbound leg. After approximately one minute we can correct for headwind or tailwind. We will turn and intercept, intercept the inbound leg. And in this case we have the wind coming from the south so as you can see it will look a little bit different because the drift we will drift towards the north so the turn radius here will be larger. So we have to decrease by applying again double wind correction angle. So we will get closer. And here after also approximately one minute we will turn to the inbound lake. As I told you before, the outbound leg can be determined by either time or distance from DME equipment. In this case, the outbound leg is determined by distance from DME equipment. So what to do? Well, it's pretty much the same method. When we reach the fix, we will start the turn and apply double wind correction. Fly it for one minute and we can make also a correction for headwind or tailwind. After uh, we, the time we should fly with single wind correction angle until we reach 5.2 uh, in this case from the DME then we can start to turn towards the inbound leg. Where can we find the holdings? If it's published you will find them on an approach chart I will use this chart as an example. We will use the buildy holding. And as we can see, we have the inbound course will be 0, 070 degrees. The outbound will be 250 degrees. We have a maximum speed, 230 knots. And we have to fly this holding above 5,000 feet. And this fix, as I talked about before, um, is on a radial from Victor November Alf Oscar VOR and it's 12.5 nautic miles from the VOR. So when we get to this distance we will start the turn. And we have no information about the outbound leg, so that means we need to use timing. Sometimes we can have a distance, for example 17.5, where we have to turn uh, towards the inbound leg. How to exit the holding? Well, we cannot exit wherever we like. We have to proceed to the fix first. And uh, if it's an initial approach fix, we should overfly it. 
This was an example of a published holding. And don't be surprised if you get an unpublished holding from the ATC. For example, he will give you instructions, uh, which I recommend to write down and then draw on a paper uh, to understand everything. So it's possible to also get unpublished. And don't forget that the standard terms in uh, a holding will always be to the right if you don't get other instructions. So I hope you enjoy this video and uh, have a very good day.